Welcome back to the Howard Stern Wrap-Up Show, 888-STERN-100, 888-783-7610. We are live on a Monday, and now joining me back for a... Like, we're dying. Yeah, we're or about dying. somebody's pouch, you know, put yeah. M&M's up there. How many M&M's do you have? We're live with... Yeah. I don't care. She said to me, Jessica, my one piece of advice is do, ne do not, after you give birth, take a mirror to it for at least two months. Uh. And I was like, that sounds crazy. She goes, no. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Which one? I'm Howard. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I think you're the Howard. Yeah, I'm the Howard. Because <laughs> I talk so goddamn much. <laughs> and I think Leonard's... You would do if you came face to face with I it. I just told you, what if I am do? attracted to the man, mm -hmm. then I'm going to work the dick. If it is the but size also, of your thumbnail? I'm married, and so I'm not doing any. How many has he seen of real people? I mean, how often you guys do and, and measuring it? No, but dudes see other dudes' penises all the time. Yes. Why? Because and it's not just George, I mean, who's getting, as you said, close to 80, but Ronnie's getting up there in age, and his engine certainly hasn't stopped running by any sense. He's probably... <laughs> Tomorrow with another live Howard Stern wrap-up show exclusively on Howard 100 and Howard 101. I received a long note last night through Facebook with a family friend of Sour Shoes who A said his parents were brought to tears by the embedded hired a manager. Good. So all of this talk of why isn't Sour yeah, sort of capitalizing on his fame, uh, apparently he has... Great. It would be weird if they just left off on the storyline and didn't say anything else. Yeah, that would well, be a little disappointing if you're in there with the tree <laughs> and, and, you know, okay, that's it. They're in the forest. And I... What you tell him if he knows it. Right? <laughs> you see a talk. No, 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 I know. I know. There is things that make up things that aren't real. <laughs> you, you send anything, it will be tossed. 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 Right? Browns well, get, uh, Barry, you talk to me in such a condescending manner, you go, Sal, do you need to be told? Hey, no, fuck him! Did, no, did I, uh, no, hold on, hold on, Barry, hold on, Barry, hold, on hold on, hold on. You made a video. Well, why don't you fucking get laid <laughs> once in a while instead of crying I'm, out here to everybody? I'm not crying and, and by the way, why don't we all talk about how afraid you are of your wife? How I'm fucking not afraid of my wife. Oh my god. Making a convincing argument. And that weekend that I saw him was as, I mean, if anybody would have been there for the weekend, it's as normal as normal can be. But it's a weekend. 
And but uh, Howard was the winner, 57% saying he was crazier. Mm. 43 voting for Robin. All right, so 57% Howard wins. I don't know if he wants to win that one. Not let, which staffer he wouldn't let date his daughter. So now we want to hear your opinion, the audience. Which one of these crazy guys would you let your daughter date? Yeah. What does that tell you? Mm. She's a little Chesapeake. <laughs> 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 Might be a little crabby. That's all I'm saying. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. He better put a ring on it. Because there's not going to be much else. If this is the longest relationship. One year? Good God Almighty. He's going to be back to humping pillows at his mother. Syracuse, you're on the Howard Stern wrap-up show live. Joe, I was immediately met face-to-face -face with a pile of phlegm. And he would regularly fill up the spit cup with fried of either smoke or old spaghetti because they kept old spaghetti in the in the living room that they would eat throughout the day when they got hungry. What? And heavy. Ninety eight percent shaft heavy. <laughs> Are we talking golf clubs? Back or? me up, brother. Back me up on this. Now talk about our penis. Let's talk about the beautiful black penis contest. We're talking Beetlejuice. We're talking Eric the Actor. We talk JD. We're going to get to Bill Murray. We're going to get to Mars in a moment. Just smoke marijuana and, and kind of sit Being around. Being by his dad, freaking out. Would that be exciting to you? It would be very exciting to me. It's funny, Sal and Richard. You are the mastermind behind the 79 items on Jeff's <laughs> wish list that have already been purchased. Website to call it. Explain to me how it works. I don't get what the website is. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know the Amazon checklist, but that's what I would want. <laughs> on that note, we're going to... Bye for now, motherfuckers.